I'm going to get hit with, we did x-rays, we did ultrasound, you know, they did, they did, a, they checked a bunch of things. I haven't got my bill yet, but I promise you it's probably 2000 bucks is what I'm out of pocket on that. But, but you can go under this bill and get an abortion for free. That's some bullshit right there. That's some serious bullshit. I just covered all that. We don't need to reread that. And then you got this gem from my home state of this terrible, terrible governor. Jeez, Oregon becomes first state to offer free abortions for all, including illegal aliens. Man, we're just like, they are just like reaching for the leftist progressive. It's far away from uh, like anything conservative as they can. It's like now we're just going to give even to illegal aliens. Well, I got news for you. Probably most of the illegal aliens that are coming in, the brown people that are, you know, Hispanics. Probably most of them aren't getting abortions because they actually are pretty decent people, a lot of them. Well, how how can you say that if you think they shouldn't be here? I'm saying people should come here legally. But a lot of these Mexicans that come here are actually come out of a you know a very strong Catholic base, right? Where they don't they don't think abortion's right. That's why they got twenty kids or fifteen kids or ten kids, whatever. I say that in jest. But they have a lot of kids in their family typically. Hispanic families do, because they don't believe in abortion. Not a whole lot of Hispanics are getting abortions. So um, you, you, you throwing out this little perk, um, Kate, throwing out, you know, Kate Brown throwing out this little perk. Hey, we're going to, illegals, come here. We'll, we'll give you abortions for free. You're praying. It's, it's not going to play well most of the time. But it's just so sickening, man. Uh, Oregon Governor Kate Brown has signed a landmark bill to provide free abortions for all, including illegal immigrants, by requiring insurance companies to cover the procedure and putting taxpayers on the hook for the tab. Tuesday, long-awaited signing of a bill, 3391, approved by the state legislature uh, July 5th with no Republican votes, triggered a torrent of criticism from conservatives along with the praise from the pro-choice movement. I'm sure it did. Thank you. Thank Kate Brown for signing the nation's most progressive reproductive health bill into de- law today. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Kate, for that. Thank you. Fucking twat. Neural Pro-Choice Oregon said in a statement, the $10.2 million Reproductive Health Equity Act includes $500,000 for abortions for the estimated 22,873 women who would be eligible for Oregon Health Plan, the state's medical program. Except for the uh, except for their immigration status, under the first of its kind law, most of which goes into effect immediately, Oregon insurers must provide 100% coverage for abortions without co-pays or deductibles. I can't. I just had to take my wife to the doctor the other day because she was having terrible stomach problems, right, and terrible pain, and I thought her 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 uh, she was having an appendicitis or something. So we spent four hours at. You know, the hospital, which, by the way, Kaiser, I feel like, is as close as you can get to socialized medicine. And it was horrible. I almost filmed this old lady that was sitting in the waiting room. She was just, she had a crooked eye. She was a sweet little lady, but she had kind of a crooked eye. One was out of, you know, one was out of alignment a little bit. And she was there like, hello? Hello? Can I get some help over here? And she was mumbling to herself like, I've been here an hour. No one's talking to me. And no one's, she was, she was kind of grumpy. But... It was, like, insane, the weight we had. And I just am thinking to myself, man, I can't wait for single-payer healthcare to come. They get used to this times about 10. This isn't about single-payer either, so don't get into me about the Medicaid and Medicare because that is a huge freaking fiasco. We'll cover that on another video. But I know I'll get a lot of my socialist or burden. Not out, I don't have a lot of socialist progressive friends, but I have some that will be like, it's really good. It's really good. Yeah, do you realize, side note, do you realize there's like 75 million people on Medicaid, Medicare, um, and we have 320 million people in the country, and everyone says it's really good health care. I mean, it's really, no, it's not. They tell you it's so good when you listen to all these people and proponents of socialized, you know, socialized health care, but it's really not. It's really pretty shitty, actually. And um, if you think that government does such a great job, why don't you also go look at the VA that spends $200 billion, I want to say, a year? And they have 9 million people on it. And we, there was that whole huge 
a couple years back blow up about how terrible the, 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 the care was for those people. And you think we're going to pull it off with 320 million people? And then again, you're going to put your health decisions in the hands of the, 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 the federal government? Who, who now says it's okay to kill babies at nine months and beyond? Born babies? And you're going to put your health and you, the care of your life into their hands and let them make the decisions on what you're covered for and what you're not? Forget the 10-hour wait times and the crowded hospitals and the dirty floors and the grossness that will come along with it. And mark my words, it will come along with it. You're just going to gonna put your health into their hands? I agree there needs to be some changes in the healthcare situation and we need to come up with a better system and we need to actually figure out how to get costs down and get them more reasonable uh, and and I I don't I don't plan or I don't uh, pretend to be some perfect to know all the ins and outs about how to do that or why it is so high but I bet you when you look into it it probably has a lot to do with all the 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 the, the federal and the governmental interference on the medical industry um, but I don't know. I I'll, I would want to do some research on that and come back to that. But regardless of that, it would suck. Now, I was touching on the fact that um, the co-pays and deductibles here for this abortion, it's not going to cost anybody a cent. I took my wife in for to, to because she was having terrible, terrible stomach pains. I'm going to get hit with we did x-rays. We did ultrasound. You know, they did they did a, they checked. A bunch of things. I haven't got my bill yet, but I promise you it's probably 2000 bucks. is what I'm out of pocket on that. But but you can go under this bill and get an abortion for free? That's some bullshit right there. That's some serious bullshit. How about wear a condom or not have sex? How about that? You know, how about take a little more uh, um, uh, responsibility up front? How about that? That'd be amazing. 